All right, so uh, we're gonna today we're gonna be talking about uh, polygons. So just a general overview of polygons. Um, as stated before, we're gonna be looking at geometry as a whole. So polygons are properties and features, and then we're gonna look into circles and an area and volume and a bunch of different things uh, in regards to that. We've already kind of began because we've already talked about trigonometry, which is a branch of geometry. It's just a study of triangles um, and their, their properties and principles um, and different things that involve triangles when it comes to their angles and their side lengths. So today, though, we're going to be uh, talking about just general general overview of all polygons. So what is a polygon to begin with? A polygon is a closed figure. Um, so with, uh, with line segments for your side lengths, depending on who you talk to. Some people will just say it's just a closed figure and be done with it. Um, so for instance, I'll, tell, I'll show you one that you've seen before, a triangle needs to be closed. Uh, so a triangle will be a polygon because it has a closed figure from the, uh, from one starting vertex. If we just connect around, if we get back to it, making straight edges going around, we have a triangle. Now, um, next, we can have something like this. And some of you may say, oh, that's a square. That's not a square. It's just a quadrilateral. We don't, you don't know anything else about it. Some of you may even say, I think that looks kind of like trapezoid or something. It kind of does, but it's not. Again, you don't know anything about it. So right now, it's just a quadrilateral. Um, and so this, this would be a pentagon. Um, so it has five sides. Hexagon has six. Heptagon has seven. Uh, octagon has eight. Many of you have seen that, like a stop sign. Nonagon, decagon, doka decagon, and we can just keep going and going and going with all these different types. But their names are all based off of their number of sides. And so it's just a closed figure. Now, each of these has very special properties that go along with that. Um, if we know the number of sides, we know the sum of the interior angles. And we'll talk about what those are later. We also know uh, the sum of the exterior angles, which we'll talk about in the future as well. Uh, we also can know different properties about it based off what type of uh, what type of polygon it is and if it has any anything else that's going on. For instance, if all of these angles were equal, or if all of these sides were equal, we would know it would be a regular uh, triangle, which means it's equilateral and equiangular. All the angles are the same, all the uh, sides are the same. However, when we move on to higher uh, number of sides, like a quadrilateral or a pentagon, just because all the angles are the same does not mean all the sides are the same. That was only special for a triangle. So we'll see those differences and we'll see a lot of other cool things too. So this is just kind of, again, an overview of polygons. This is what we're going to get into. We're going to do polygons first. Uh, we've already covered uh, the most basic of all polygons, a triangle. You can, from any, any polygon, you can create triangles. So for instance, here at Quadrilateral, we just draw one line connecting two vertices. Um, they aren't connected already. We get a triangle. Same thing with pentagon. We only have to do two cuts. If it was a hexagon, we would have to do three cuts, and so on and so forth. But you can do as many as you want. We can even split a triangle up in the triangles. Okay. So, anyway, because we know so much about triangles already, it'll be pretty easy to take those and uh, take those and to extrapolate it to high, uh, sides that have uh, polygons that have more sides. But we won't need to do that. We're going to just look at basic principles of these. So basic principles of quadrilaterals and higher uh, higher number of sides. Okay, so let's get into it. 